What's happening guys, Substantial back here with another video, today we're going to go in and try the two new cars this week, um, now I'm not sure which one it is, what the cars they are, I know one of them is a Ferrari and the other one, we'll have to just see, so we've got the 2005 FXX and then we've got the C-Type Jaguar 1953, so interesting combination, uh, let's jump in and try them. I had good response on the last car reviews on the car pass uh, from you guys, so I thought I'd make another video, try these two cars out. Now I'm looking forward to trying the Ferrari. I've just recently done a video on the FXXK, if you want to go watch that, it was a, it was a, a weekly challenge race I had to use it for. Um, if you want to go watch that, it's on the channel. I'm just going to throw a couple of upgrades on there, just some race tyres. Oh, they've already got race tyres. Widen these out. Let's see if we've got any body modifications. Nope, no body mods. Never mind. Same with suspension, everything's race on there pretty much. Might as well upgrade this while we're here. Alright, so once this is safe, I'm going to jump in. And I'm going to try this on a race. I'm going to take this on a race, see how it holds up. Now, um, I'm not a massive fan of the Ferrari brand, but I do like the style of the cars. Uh, I do like the way the handle and race. I think overall it is a good brand, but it's just not my favourite brand to drive. Right, so I'm going to guess straight out of the bat we've got a V12. I've got my setting set up for drift. Let me just change these for racing. Because I've done quite a few drift videos, if you've been watching on my channel. Okay, so we're going to accept these. That's more like it. I don't know why these bat lights are flashing. It's a bit annoying to be honest with you. Okay, so it's a fast car. I'm going to go put this in a race, see how it holds up. Well, that's one way of stopping. And so, I'm going to go and put it on this race. I'm fast travel it. I do pretty much fast travel everywhere, it is a bit boring, but it just saves a lot of time when making these videos. So it'll be fun to see what type of cars I'm going to be up against. I'm going to leave the difficulty on expert though. Just to give me a bit of a challenge really. I like having a challenge when I drive these cars. So I'm going to the FXX. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's a very good car, it looks very light, it feels very light. I can see a fire extinguisher there inside the car. Right, so we've got some stiff competition from some fairly new uh, hypercars. Oh, there's a new model in front of us. Right, so this race is going to be fun. I'm going to keep it clean as possible. A bit wide on the turn and then let it down a bit. Now I can't remember what horsepower we actually had. Uh, all I know is I put that one upgrade in. We couldn't put any tyres or suspension because I already had them on the car. Could have done without crashing then. 
so I'm in third. I'd be happy to take third, but I do want to try to take that first position. I don't think I'm gonna get a second or third. It's always worth trying though, isn't it? I'm not breaking enough. What I do know is I don't wanna <laughs> not get third. Now the aerial atoms there, that is a very light car, one car I would like to go in and uh, modify and put on the channel. If that's something you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below. Alright, so we've got another FX in front of me, exactly the same. Thought we'd take this out on now. So we're nearly at the end of the race. And we are finished. Third place, not bad, I'll take that. Overall review on the Ferrari FX, um, FXX. Um, it's a good car, a very good car. The is a lot better and I think it shouldn't be in the class that it's in just because I think it's very outmatched by the other cars. The other cars are a lot more modern, big engines, a lot more updated. So, overall review, out of 10. I'm going to go in and give the car a, a 7 out of 10. A 7 out of 10, that's, that's being generous. I know there's a lot of Ferrari fanboys out there that will probably slate me, but I think a 7 out of 10 is just right for this car. You you can get better cars for the league that it's in, the class that it's in, the power that it makes, you can get a lot better. But I, I like it, the handles just fine, it's got just the right amount of power. My brakes are glowing. I think you need some better brakes on it. Right, so we're going to go change the car up now for a Jaguar. The C type, I think it was, I'm not sure. You have arrived at your destination. Into the house. Remember, guys, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. It helps the channel grow, it helps me bring more content to you daily. So. We are going to go into, where do we want to go, car pass and go get our C-type. Right, so we're going to get this. I like the Jaguar green, should I say. But I do have the car pass, so these cars are free for me. I'm not sure whether you can buy them without the car pass. You'll have to let me know. But for me, I do have the car pass, so they were free. upgrades on it because I don't think I can stand to race in deep pass. Um, there's not many body modifications to do to it. I want to put them on just because I feel like I can get it faster. I want to put a turbo charger on it. Race tyres. Oh, we do have the vintage. Yeah, I'm gonna put the vintage on. I'm gonna keep the wheels just because it's very nostalgic. I'm gonna upgrade all oh, the transmission. We're in A class already. That's a uh, not a great start. Better acceleration with a roll bar. Yeah, I'm gonna 
to leave the roll bar off. No. I'm just going to take this up to maximum A class and I think I'll leave it at that. I'm not going to bother tuning it. Just going to feel like there's no need. I'll see if I can get it to maximum A class. It's not wanting to go all the way. We didn't manage to get it to max A class. Right, let's buy them, put them on, let's give it a race and see how it handles. Right, so uh, I'm not sure whether we're going to do the same race or not. I'll see if there's any more races around the town. We'll try to do something a little bit different. Just to try something a bit different, so I don't have to bore you guys. Right, so we want to start this race. Now I'm intrigued to see what kind of cars I'm going to be up against. Yep, a Ford GT, I thought so. So this is going to be a very interesting race, to say just the least. Same again, I'm going to keep the the driver tar level to expert just to give me that bit of a challenge it's a bit boring winning all the time so i do like to raise it up to that little bit of a harder difficulty just for a better challenge right, so let's go start this race let's jump straight into it three two one go a lot of wheel spin I don't know if that's because of the power or because I've not got the right tyres or because the road is wet. But I am sliding there, that's no good. Oh! I think maybe I should have put the race tyres on instead of the, the vintage race. I am just a little bit behind. And I think maybe it could do with a tune as well. I'm going to try and get a... Um, I'm a, nearly a third of the way through the race, so I'm going to try and get just a bit in front, so I'm not right at the back. It's a bit embarrassing. I'm very natural, I don't like to try something until I win just to record it. I feel like I'm going to give it my first take and so you guys can see my first reactions and opinions on it. So now that I've upgraded the engine, it's made the top speed a bit better which is making me catch up to these other driver tires now, which will be, probably be a bit better for me. Sounds a bit daft, but I'm glad my back end caught that corner of that then. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. I hate crashing into people. Oh, I am sorry. Well, I don't think I'm going to make the podium. Advice if you are going to get this car, make sure if you upgrade the engine, put any modifications on, make sure you put the race tyres on. Otherwise, you will be screwed. Just like me. So I'm definitely not going to make it on the podium. So yeah guys, that's the Jaguar C-Type, the new one. My advice, put race tyres on it. 
not really my type of car. Out of 10, I'm going to give it 5. Could have had a better car, could have put something better in. Um, if you're going to upgrade it, put the race tyres on. So guys, that is the end of this video. Um, if you did like it, please leave a like. Comment if you've got a video idea you want to see me do. want to see me do a drift montage. There's a lot of them been up on the channel. A lot of you have been enjoying them. This is Substantial 8. Signing out. Like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.